here in Psalm 91. Psalm 91, open your Bibles there. We will be reading all the verses of Psalm 91. Basahin po natin ang mga talata ng uh, banal na kasulatan. Ang sabi po ng Psalm 91, verse number 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse number 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Verse number 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse number 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Verse 7, it says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse number 8, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Verse number 9, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Verse number 10, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Verse number 11, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up, verse number 12, They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou, shalt, thou, thou dash thy foot against a stone. Verse number 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under your feet. Verse 14, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Verse number 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Ngayon po, binasa po natin ang isang awiti na ginawa po ng isang mga awit sa Book of Psalms at makikita po natin ito ay saktong-sakto po sa kalagayan natin ngayon. Ano ho? Siguro napansin niyo po yung aking post nung nakaraan patung sa ating pong, uh, Bible reading page doon po sa ating uh, SBBC Joshua 1A. Patungkol po sa the blessing of the faithful and the burden of fools. Doon ko po isesentro ang mensahe ngayong uh, gabing ito, mga mahal kong kapatid, patungkol po sa pagpapala ng matapat at sa uh, pagdurusa po ng mga uh, mangmang, mga taong uh, ayaw sundin ng Diyos, mga taong walang panahon sa Panginoon. At ganun din naman, titignan po natin dito ang katotohanan po ng dilubyo o ng problema ng uh, 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 bayan o ng mundong ito. The reality of pestilences. So, in facing such pestilences, that, that's the title of our message tonight, in facing such pestilences, we can find the blessing of the faithful and the uh, burden of the fools. So, tignan po natin dito, mga mahal kong kapatid, ang tatlong bagay. In Psalm 91, we can find, doon po sa ating uh, tema, muli, sa pagharap po natin sa mga uh, problema ng uh, buhay, o mga pestilence, o mga epidemics, o, 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 o pandemic. Sa pagharap po natin dito, ano po yung makikita natin na katotohanan na nais ng Diyos makita ng kanyang mga anak? Tatlong bagay po ang ating pag-uusapan ngayong pong gabi. The pestilence, the people of God, at saka po yung the powerful God. Tatlo po. Ano po? Yung pong pestilence, o yung pong pandemic natin ngayon, pangalawa, nais kong makita natin yung the people of God, na dito, in line or in light of Psalm 91, and thirdly, yung pong the powerful God, yung ating pong makapangyarihan Diyos. Tatlong bagay po yan. Let us start. On Psalm 91, if you, if you, you have your Bibles with you, you've got to look up the pestilence there. There are, there, are, there are verses there that shows the word pestilence. And let us read some of those verses. 
uh, the Bible tells us on verse number uh, verse number uh, three. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The noisome pestilence. According to the, the, the word pestilence, this Hebrew word is also a word pandemic or, or epidemic. And the word epidemic is synonymous with the word pestilence. Kagaya po ng nararanasan natin ngayon. Okay po? Verse number 6, you find again the word. Verse 6, it says, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. So, mga kapatid, first of all, in light of Psalm 91, makikita po natin ang kalagayan natin ngayon sa ating bayan o sa ating mundo, that pestilence is real. Number one, you find there that uh, 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 with, with that pestilence, you find its presence. Ang presensya ng ganitong mga dilubyo. Ano po? Ano po ang aking ibig sabihin? Ang ibig sabihin po, ang talata po ng Psalm 91 ay mismong nagpapaliwanag sa atin. Meron pong presensya talaga ang mga epidemic na ito. These pestilences are present in the life of the human race. God has showed it to the world because of the penalty of sin. So makikita po natin dito mga kapatid that... Uh, why do I why do I why do I need to share to you the presence of pestilences? Because sometimes we might we might uh, misinterpret. There are many people that are using these pestilences to show the coming of the Lord. I mean, we believe that the Lord will come. We believe that God, before He comes back, the Lord Jesus Christ, before He comes back. Uh, there will be signs of His coming. Kasama po dito yung pestilences, earthquake in diverse places, nation will fight against nations. But, kailangan po nating mag-ingat sa tuwing gagamitin po natin ang konteksto nito na hindi po porkit meron pong mga dilubyo o problema, eh, babalik na ang Panginoon. I mean, we believe that the coming of the Lord is near. We believe uh, we believe in the coming back of the Lord. Inaantay nga po natin ang kanyang pagbabalik. Pero minsan po, nagdudulot po ito ng pagkagulo sa mga anak ng Diyos, kung minsan, at sa mga tao, na hindi nila alam na ang ganitong uri ng problema ay normal sa buhay ng tao. Pestilences are normal in human race. It is because of the sin of man. Dahil po sa kasalanan, nagkaroon po ng ganito. Nagkaroon po ng imperfection ng mundong ito. At, uh, at dahil po dito, makikita po natin even in Psalm 91, during the days of the psalmist, the presence of pestilences are already there. Marami na po. The world has experienced different pandemics. The world has experienced different outbreaks, different sicknesses. The black uh, plague, the bubonic plague, Ano ho, nung, nung, nung unang panahon, nagkaroon po din po tayo ng Spanish flu. Nagkaroon po tayo ng, nung 1900s na milyon po ang mga namatay. Okay po? At ganun din naman po nangyayari ngayon dito. So members, I'm just telling you that such pestilences are real and normal. That means you are living in a cursed world. Nabubuhay po tayo sa mundong hindi perfecto. You have to expect pestilences such as this as what is happening to us today. Totoo nga po na minsan dahil po sa mga balita, lalo pong lumalala at lalong nagiging nakakatakot. Kaya maraming tao naguguluhan. But for you as a child of God, you have to realize the present of the presence of pestilences. On verse 6, it, you find there, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. So it happens. It is reality. We are facing the reality of life. Ano po, tayo po ngayon ay nabubuhay. Huwag ho kayong matakot gaano. Huwag ho kayong magalumihanan. Huwag hong hayaan ninyo na ang nangyayaring ito ay magkamali ho kayo ng pag interpret ng buhay ayon po sa liwanag ng Biblia. It is normal. Meron pong mga ganitong nangyayari sa buhay ng tao. Dahil po sa kasalanan ng tao. Dahil po tayo yung nakatira sa mundo na may sumpa. That's why pestilence are present. Ano po? Meron pong ganitong mga pangyayari sa buhay ng tao. Another thing, I want first I share to you the presence of pestilences, but also you find there the power of pestilences. 
ano ang kapangyarihan ng mga ganitong klase ng dilubyo o problema. Ito po nga COVID-19 na ito at ang iba pang mga uh, mga iba pang mga uh, pangyayari, Ebola virus, uh, the, the, the Spanish flu. Ano ba ang kapangyarihan nitong mga ito? It can kill. Hindi ko po sinasabi na normal po ito na hindi po tayo mag-iingat. Malinaw din po ang Bible dyan. Tignan po natin ang banal na kasulatan. Tignan nyo po sa verse number 6. Uh, si, uh, uh, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Sabi ng verse 7. Pestilences can kill. Pestilences can destroy. According to the verses that we read, pestilences are raging. Mabilis po kumalat. It can affect many. It can it, it can affect many. It makes us afraid. Ano po? Malino po na sa, sa, sa Biblia at sa ating pong realidad, sa ating buhay, nagbibigay po ito ng takot sa tao. Nagbibigay po ito ng paggagalumihanan, uh, nagbibigay po ito ng, uh, ng uh, pag-aalinlangan sa ating Diyos. Mga kapatid, huwag ho. Ang kapangyarihan ho ng mga bagay na ito ay nakakatakot man, kaya nga ho mag-ingat din tayo. We have to uh, uh, protect ourselves from the virus, we have to wash our hands. We have to we have to isolate ourselves with a uh, with a uh, we have to give space ano ho doon sa atin pong mga uh, uh, community ano ho meron tayo ngayon quarantine pero mga kapatid sana makita po natin na limited lang ang kapangyarihan ng mga pestilence na ito ang sabi ho ng Bible dito sa verse number 7 a thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only, verse 8, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Maaari pala na ang isang anak ng Diyos sa mga ganitong uri ng nakakatakot na pangyayari sa mundo, hindi tayo magalaw, hindi tayo mapahamak, hindi tayo madamay. Okay? So, the power of these pestilences is limited by the Lord Himself. Ang Diyos po ang may hawak ng lahat ng bagay na ito. So, ano mang uri ng pestilence yan? Would it be man-made? O yan ba ay nanggaling sa mga hayop? Or it is God that, that, that dealing with man? Or even the devil putting this plague to mankind? Which of which the, the God that we serve, the Lord, has the final say so? Ang Panginoon pa rin ang may pinaka-pinali. Siyang may hawak ng ating buhay. At kung hindi niya tayo hahayaan na madapuan itong karamdaman na ito, huwag ho kayong matatakot, maaari po tayong mailigtas. Maaari po tayong masagip at hindi madamay sa isang nakakatakot na na epidemya o pandemic nga. Ang ibig sabihin, buong mundo ang nadadamay. Okay po? So, do not be too afraid of it because its power is limited. Another thing, the pestilence has its presence, its reality. Totoo pong nangyayari yan sa buhay natin. Hindi po dahil naniniwala po tayo na pwedeng ito'y sinyalis ng pagbabalik ng Panginoon. Kaya lang ang ibig lang po sabihin ng aking mga sinasabi kanina, hindi po porkit may pestilence, babalik na si Kristo. Ang ibig po sabihin nito, ang pestilence po talagang kasama po sa buhay ng tao. Nangyayari po yan. Nangyari na po yan ng mga ilang, ta ilang daang taon. Nangyari na po yan ng ilang uh, uh, nung mga nakaraang uh, kasaysayan. At ngayon nangyayari po muli kasi kasama po yan sa buhay ng tao. Meron po talaga tayong pagdadaan ng ganyan. Ngunit ang kapangyarihan nito, the power of it is limited. Another thing, it's not just the presence of it, it's not just the power of it, but the purpose of it. On verse 7 and 8, we can get light from this. Maaari po nating makita, we can, we can be enlightened on why God would allow, why the Lord would allow pestilences, such pestilences, to come into our life, into human race. The Bible tells us on verse number 8, Only with thine eye shall behold this and see the reward of the wicked. Makikita po natin dito that it has a purpose. Somehow, God allows this pestilence to come for a purpose. And what's the purpose? The purpose of God is to, to give a reward or a, or a vengeance for the wicked. Para po parusahan ang mga makasalanan. God allows such pestilences to happen to... to 
to, to punish the, the ungodly. This is for the wicked. This is for sin, brethren. So, pestilences are God's, somehow, sometimes, are God's dealing to, to sinful man. Para sa makasalanang tao. So, again, Psalm 91 gives us light on what's happening to us right now. Pestilences has its presence. Talaga hong nandyan ho yan. May presensya ho talaga ang mga uri ng dilubyo at epidemya sa buhay po ng tao. Nangyayari po yan. Ikalawa, makapangyarihan po ito. Maaari po itong makapatay. Maaari po itong makapagbigay ng matitinding karamdaman. Ngunit, ang Diyos pa rin po ang may final na say dito. Pwede po itong hindi tayo madapuan. Hindi po ito napakalakas na para bang tayo po'y mabubuhay na sa takot. Okay po? And thirdly, ang purpose po pala nito ay para parusahan ng kasalanan ng tao. For the payment of the wicked. Okay po? And next, letter B. Pag-aralan naman po natin. In, in Psalm 91, you find the people of God. The people of God. On verse number 1, you, you see that He, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. On verse number 1 and verse number 2, you find a person, a child of God, who makes God his refuge and habitation. A person that trusts the Lord. Mga mahal kong kapatid, if there are people of God that trust Him, surely there are people of God who do not trust Him. Kung meron pong mga tao na nagtitiwala sa Panginoon, marami po, kahit po minsan anak niya na, ang hindi nagtitiwala sa Diyos. Mga kapatid, ano po ang aking gustong ipunto dito? Ang talata po ng Psalm 91 ay nagpapakita that not all people can claim this wonderful passage of Scripture. We want these magnificent blessings. The Bible tells us, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God alluded uh, His people or, or compared His people to birds under the wings of their mother. Alam nyo ho, ang ibig ko sabihin nito, yung pong, yung pong uh, pakpak po ng magulang na agila ang siyang nag, nagpro-protecta doon po sa kanyang mga anak para hindi po siya kakainin ng kaaway ng mga, na, ma, ng mga ibang hayop na nais kumain sa kanya at pinipicture po nito mga pestilence na nangyayari sa atin we want that blessing folks we want to be protected by God the Bible tells us I will say of the Lord verse 2 He is my refuge and my fortress my God in Him will I trust. The blessing of God's protection depends on the people that are following Him. Or it is dependent on how, God, how people uh, treat God in their life. According to Psalm 91, not all people can just get the verse, read the verse, and, 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 and make it a mantra. Ganun pong ginagawa ng mga tao ngayon. People are posting these verses on their Facebook page and trying to get help from God. But folks, listen, brethren, it doesn't help. It does not follow. This verse has no power to all people. What I mean is that, what I mean is that not all people can claim this verse. You will just open your Bible and then, and, and then say these verses and God will protect you. No, it's not. The Bible is clear. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Sila na nananahan sa lihim na lugar ng dakilang Diyos. Ang ibig sabihin nito, pinaliwanag po siya ng verse number 2. In Him will I trust. These verses, this protection from God, this wonderful power from up, up on high, are for those people that trust the Lord. Now the question is this, how do we treat God when there is no pestilences like this? Paano natin tinatrato ang Panginoon sa mga panahon na wala pong dilubyo o problema. 
yung mga normal na ating church services. Yung mga normal na oras ng panalangin. Yung mga panahon na dapat nagbabasa tayo ng Biblia. The times when we have the opportunity to share the gospel. Brethren, my question, are you trusting the Lord? In the moments where everything is well, in the moments when you have money to go out and, 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 and have a vacation, in the moment when you have funds to enjoy food, and, and in the moment where we are free, we are not home quarantined, in the moments where, where uh, we have these happenings of life, the question, did we make God our habitation? Hindi po pwede na yung biglang darating yung problema at saka tayo lalapit sa Panginoon, iiyak at magsasabing, Panginoon, tulungan mo ako. Mga mahal kong kapatid, sana nakikita po natin ang pagpapala dito na ang taong nagtitiwala sa Diyos may proteksyon na nanggagaling sa Ama. Darating ang punto na kung minsan, when we are trusting God, when we are loving the Lord, sometimes, as if uh, people will uh, 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 reject us or society won't accept us as we serve God. Nakakatawa tayo, tatawanan tayo ng tao, uh, uh, lalayuan tayo ng iba, mawawalan tayo ng pera, may mga ganun pagkakataon. At yan yung mga dahilan kung bakit maraming tao ayaw magtiwala sa Diyos. Tuloy, pag dumating ang mga ganitong klase ng pestilences, nagugulumihan ng tayo, natatakot tayo, hindi natin alam kung anong mangyayari sa atin. Mga kapatid, sana po, Pagkatapos po ng diliwiyong ito at darating po ang pagpapala sa ating buhay, darating po ang mga biyaya ng buhay, darating po ang kaluwagan, ang kasiyahan, huwag nating kalilimutan gawin nating tahanan ng Diyos. Ang ibig sabihin, hindi natin siya paglilingkuran dahil nakakatakot ang sitwasyon, hindi natin siya tatawagin dahil tayo po ay natatakot na sa mga pwedeng mangyari sa atin, hindi po, kundi mayroon mang magandang nangyayari sa ating buhay, whether we experience bad, or good things in life, may the Lord find us faithful. May the Lord find us trusting Him. This is a time to pray and talk to God and say, Lord, forgive me for those times that I am not finding You. Forgive me for neglecting my Bible. Forgive me for not winning souls. Forgive me for not, for not doing what You want me to do. Forgive me for not being faithful. Mga kapatid, nakakatakot kasi nakita niyo ho sa isang iglap pwede ho tayo magkaroon ng ganitong problema and there are things that can be worse may mga bagay pa po na mas pwedeng maging mas malala pero parehas lang according to the bible tingnan niyo ang sinabi ng bible sa verse number 9 oh, verse number 8 only with thine eye shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked makikita lang natin sa ating mga mata ang parusa ng Diyos sa mga makasalanan. Bakit? Bakit hindi tayo tatamaan? Verse number 9, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. So, mga, mahal kong kapatid, sana nakita natin dito do, ang, pin, ang sentro ng Psalm 91 ay dun sa matapat. Siyempre, makikita natin na kung may matapat, mayroong hindi nagtatapat. Kung mayroong mga tao, napakataas ang trato sa Diyos, Pero meron din mga tao, binabaliwala lang ang Panginoon pag oras ng kaligayahan, pag oras na walang problema. Kung may mga tao handang ibigay ang buhay sa Diyos, meron ding mga anak siya na ayaw man lang kahit konting panahon ibigay para sa Kanya. Mga mahal kong kapatid, makita po natin dito ang pagpapala ng matapat at ang, at ang kalungkutan ng mga taong mangmang o mga taong ayaw sundin ng Diyos. Number three, sa mga kalagayan na atin pong nakikita ngayon, at sa liwanag na binibigay po sa atin ng Psalm 91, una, makikita po natin dito yung pestilence. Nangyayari po sa atin ngayon yan. Yung presensya niya, niya dyan talaga. Huwag ko kayong magkamali. Huwag ko kayong mabibigla. Hindi porkit meron ganito, eh katapusan na ng mundo. Hindi po. Kasama talaga ang mga pestilence sa buhay ng tao. Ano ho? Ang kapangyarihan nito, nakakatakot. Kaya mag-iingat din tayo. Pero mga kapatid, limited. Ang ibig sabihin, matatapos po ito. Dahil po ang Diyos po ang may pinakamakapangyarihang kayang pigilan nito na magtagal. Pangatlo, may purpose po ito para parusahan ng makasalanan. 
At ganun din naman, pangalawa, napag-aralan po natin na dito makakakita po tayo ng tao ng Diyos. Somehow, somehow, we being God's people, ano, what's happening around us is related with our relationship with God. Because it's God who holds the universe. It is God who holds heaven and earth. And so we find here that the people of God that trust Him are those people that can hide under God's wings. Ang ibig sabihin po dito, ang makapangyarihang protection ng Diyos ay nasasayang kung hindi ho tayo magtatapat sa Kanya. And we will never be faithful because there are problems. Faithfulness should be seen in us with or without problems. Even during times of happiness, sana ho, pagkatapos nito, pag pwede na ho ulit tayo magpunta sa Maynila at mag-church ng sama-sama, makita na po sa atin talaga na mataas ang tingin natin sa Panginoon. Huwag ho natin siyang babaliwalain hanggat hindi pa po huli ang lahat. Let us be faithful to the God that we are serving. And last but not the least, of course, we find it above all is the presence of Almighty the powerful God that holds the heavens and the earth. The one that, that balances the universe. The Creator is our Father. Ano ang maaaring maibigay na mensahe sa atin? What could be the message of Psalm 91? What could be the light of Psalm 91 in the present time that we are experiencing? Brethren, the Bible tells us here on verse 14, I hope you would open your Bibles, verse 14, because he had set his love upon me. Now, wag ko kayong maguluhan, there are verses here about the Lord Jesus Christ concerning his coming, nabanggit po ito sa, sa Matthew chapter 4, but moreover, this psalm is not just only for the Lord Jesus Christ, but for us God's people. And here you find here on verse 14 that this, uh, this pestilence says, this happening that we are experiencing right now in our present time, itong COVID-19, I hope and I pray that above all this, we find God in our life. Dapat ang sentro, hindi po yung problema, hindi po mali, ma, hindi po mali na isipin natin yung problema. Hindi po mali na isipin po natin yung ating kakanin. It's not even bad to, to, to watch the news and listen to the government speaks uh, for us uh, on the measures, on the precautionary measures. But brethren, ladies and gentlemen, let God be the center of this pandemic. Let this put our focus back to the one who has the final say-so. Ngayon pong panahon natin ngayon, mga mahal kong kapatid, sana idiretso po ang focus natin sa Panginoon. Sa paanong paraan? Verse 14, Because He had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Dahil daw, kaya iniligtas daw ng Panginoon kasi inilagak nung anak niya ang pag-ibig sa kanya. It is about your love for God tonight. Let us put focus right now on how much do we love the Lord. In times like this, how much do you see your love for God? Another, verse number 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. It's not just our love for God, but it also includes our prayer to him. Tingnan niyo po sa verse number 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. This event brings us to our phone sometimes, and watch the news. See what will the government say. It's not that. It's not that. This moment, we had time with our family. Siguro iba sa inyo, nag-Netflix. Yung iba, nag-TikTok. Don't waste your time spending only on things that will never profit you. Pwede ho tayong magsama-sama. Pwede ho tayong magkwentuhan na pamilya. Panahon para makasama po natin yung mga mahal natin sa buhay. Pero mga mahal kong kapatid, yung atin pong panahon ng panalangin. How about our time of prayer? How about our time of Bible devotion? This time of, of by prayer and, and devotion will lead you to see the reality. Would give you power to be courageous despite of the fear that these pestilences are giving us. 
magbibigay po ito ng kapangyarihan sa atin. Balik po tayo sa Biblia. Let these pestilences put our focus back to God. Put our time again to prayer and Bible reading. Hindi man tayo nagkakasama-sama ngayon, mga kapatid, pero sana gamitin natin itong panahon para mahalin natin ang kanyang salita. And may I advise you, make this moment a time to glorify God, to show His name to, to, toward our, our, the people around us, our friends, our family. Let them know the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, let the powerful God be the focus, not the pestilences. Siya lang ho ang may hawak niyan, siya lang nga ho ang nagbibigay niyan. Huwag ho tayo mag-focus sa COVID. Mag-focus po tayo sa Diyos na may hawak po ng ating buhay. Panahon para ipakita natin ang ating pagmamahal sa Kanya. Panahon para i-check natin ang kung gano'n ba talaga natin siya kamahal. And a time to call upon the name of the Lord. I hope and I pray that this is not just the day that we pray, but tomorrow, the next day, until this home quarantine ends, we will be found by God calling upon His name. So, again, what the Psalm 91 says for us, or what is the light of Psalm 91 uh, para po sa panahon natin ngayon na meron pong ganitong uri ng problema ang ating mundo. You can find here that it shows us the reality of pestilence. Its presence, its power, its purpose. Yung presensya niya nandyan, yung kapangyarihan niya limited, nakakatakot, pwede tayo mag-ingat, dapat tayo mag-ingat, pero hindi po yan dapat ang sisira sa ating pananampalataya. At ang purpose po nito talaga hindi po para sa mga nagmamahal sa Diyos, kundi po para parusahan ang kasalanan. Pangalawa, makikita po natin dito sa Psalm 91 na sa mga nitong uri ng problema, may dalawang uri ng tao ang Diyos. Of course, given na yung mga hindi ligtas, but I hope you can find that it is connected with God's people. That there are people that trust God and there are people who don't. After this, pestilences, pag wala ng quarantine, mga mahal kong kapatid, sana ho, tayo po yung mga maging anak ng Diyos na matapat. Tayo po yung hahanapin ng Panginoon. Hindi dahil may problema, kundi dahil siya ay Diyos natin. Magiging active tayo sa church, magiging matapat tayo sa paglilingkod, ibibigay talaga natin ang para sa Diyos, magtuturo tayo, tayo ng kaligtasan, mamahalin talaga natin siya. Sana ho. Ngayon, late na eh. Ang ibig ko sabihin eh, may problema na, tsaka tayo lalapit. Mas masarap, oo, lumapit tayo sa Panginoon ngayon, pero pagkatapos ng problema na ito, sana ho makita tayo ng Diyos na talaga nagtatapat sa Kanya. And again, at the last, the powerful God is the center of this pandemic. That means, let this tragic event of world history put God's people's focus on Him who holds the universe. Ibalik natin ang focus natin sa Panginoon. Tignan po natin, mga mahal ko, kung kung ano ho yung uh, oras na dapat maibigay sa kanya sa oras ng panalangin at pag-aaral ng kanya salita. So mga mahal kong kapatid, uh, salamat po. I hope and I pray na naintindihan po natin ang mensahe.